I need to create a tempo map for a live musical performance. Let's see how Digital Performer can help with that job. Here I have some raw multi-track audio that is a recording of some live drums. We'll give it a listen. We can see the bar lines of the DP sequence timeline, but they don't appear to be lining up with the actual audio. If I turn on the DP click and play that back with the audio, we can hear they clearly don't match. That's because the audio was not recorded while listening to any click from DP. Since the audio was recorded while the DP tempo slider was set to 120 beats per minute, the first thing I'm going to do is select all the audio, go to the audio menu, sound bite tempo, and I'm going to clear the sound bite tempo. You can see that the bar lines are now gone from the actual sound bites. I do see a visual downbeat in the audio, so I'll select all of the sound bites and just drag so the first audio downbeat lines up with the first available bar line. I'll put DP under the control of the conductor track. That will allow tempo changes in the sequence timeline. I'll display the conductor track and you can see that initially there is no tempo data embedded in the sequence. The implied tempo is still 120 BPM. I'll go to the project menu, conductor track, and I'll choose adjust beats. You can see that the option to preserve real-time performance is checked. Adjust Beats allows me to drag bar lines in the sequence timeline in relation to the audio and MIDI data. Dragging bar lines creates tempo data in the conductor track. So by dragging bar lines to audio beats, I start to build a tempo map that accurately reflects the music within the audio file. Now when I play the sequence with the DP click enabled, the click matches the audio performance. Let's enhance this process a bit. I'll disengage Adjust Beats and Command double click on the kick drum track to open it in the Waveform Editor. I'll select all and ask DP to find the beats in the selection. Now back in the Sequence Editor, I'll turn Adjust Beats back on and this time I can drag bar lines by snapping right to the beats in the kick drum track. This makes the process fast and accurate. I can also snap bar lines to MIDI notes if I like. You can see the changing tempo of the audio reflected with the tempo events in the conductor track. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate a different technique for finding tempo. I'll ask DP to do the work for me. I'll command double click to open the kick drum soundbite in the waveform editor and I'll switch to the tempo view. I'll make a selection and ask DP to analyze the soundbite tempo. You can see the tempo information the DP found based on the audio beats. Now check this out. I'm going to select all the audio and go to the audio menu, audio beats, and I'm going to choose copy beats. The kick track is selected as the master track. I've got a sensitivity slider, and what I want to do is copy the found beat information from the kick track to the rest of the selected sound bites. Now all the drum tracks have exactly the same beat map. I'll select the rest of the audio and choose analyze sound bite tempo from the audio menu. Now all the sound bites have exactly the same beat and tempo maps. You'll also notice that DP has set a sync point where it sees the start of the tempo in the sound bite. The sync point is useful because that will make it easy to snap the start of the audio within the sound bites to the first bar of the sequence. I'll do that by selecting all the sound bites and choosing quantize from the region menu. I'll choose to quantize the sound bites to the nearest whole note. DP will move the sound bites using the sync point as a reference. This lines up the start of the musical beat with the first available bar line in the sequence timeline. Next, I'll choose Adjust Sequence to Sound Bite Tempo from the audio menu. DP will look at the tempo information in the sound bites and align the sequence tempo to match. Okay, let's rewind and play while also listening to the DP click. Something interesting has happened. The tempo DP found is in the region of 60 beats per minute for the audio, and you can see that reflected in the conductor track. 
DP looked at the kick track and interpreted the tempo at half of what I think the tempo should be. Finding a multiple of the actual tempo can easily happen, but it's not a problem. I'll select the sound bites, go back to the audio menu, and choose double sound bite tempo. I'll go back to the audio menu and reset adjust sequence to sound bite tempo. Now you see the DP sequence tempo is back up around 120 beats per minute, which is where I want it to be. Let's give that a quick listen. If I zoom out, you can really see the variation of the live performance as described by the now accurate tempo map in the conductor track. In the next video, we'll explore how to use accurate tempo maps for precise control and manipulation of audio tempo within a digital performer sequence.